quite educated woman, intellectual, intelligent, whatever, smart. A lot of the time, naturally, you speak in a way that stands out from other people, yep. right? And I find that a lot of the time, that kind of intimidates some of the men them, where they start thinking, this girl is a bit too much. Now, it is not my fault that I'm smart. It's not my fault that I can put one and one together very nicely and very quickly. What kind of man is going to handle that? I have to give me a minute. Help me out. I'm trying to find the husband, the kind of beast that can handle a woman like me. Well, <laughs> well, this is, well, this is. So, so this la this lady is asking, "Hey, I'm an I'm an educated woman. Woman. I think she had like three degrees or something like that. Okay. And she speaks a certain way, and she's trying to find a man who can handle her. Okay. So, you know, then Tate responds, "Well." think about think about the other side right the average guy has a lot of pressures on himself and the last thing he wants to do is to handle somebody so if you yourself already know that you want you need to be handled like and in the way you're phrasing the question you gotta ask yourself are you what the other side wants point right and and I'm only answering generally right because this, this is the first time I've met all of you ladies you've all been very polite to me you've all been very nice I'm just talking generally and I'm going to answer it based on your last sentence. Your last sentence was handle a woman like me. Mm -hmm. let's, let's look at the average man's life like I just discussed earlier, how difficult it is, how competitive he has to be, and how many problems he has to fix. Do you think he wants to handle any woman? Okay, so... Do you, like the idea of any degree of problem. It's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Like the, the, point, of, the point of having a woman as a man, for me at least, is for her to be my peace and quiet. I have... My life is stress. You see me, I'm rolling around with fucking security teams and I got problems and they're after me. And da -da. I, I'm, when I come home to my chick, the last thing I want to do is have to handle anything. I want her to just sit the fuck down and her make me happy. Mm. She used to be my positive energy. She used to be my sunshine in the rainstorm. Okay. So, and, and so I think that's, that's a good point to make that. Uh, so what, what is that? Because you are putting quotations handled. It's a loaded mm. thing, but right. can you dissect what handled means because some women or some like i'm pretty sure men they're just summing it up as a summation handled but like yeah but my guess is my, my guess is when she says i mean she's looking for a man to handle her uh and it's basically handle someone who uh who expresses a lot of opinions uh chooses a, a lot of battles so if there might there might be some like you know something might be a little bit off and she, she observes something that, that uh, can be done better and she'll right away point it out and challenge uh, the other person. Um, and she might believe that her way of thinking um, is superior, uh, communicate and challenge, uh, rather than kind of like indirectly kind of suggest uh, in a way that the other side can better receive. Uh, so oftentimes in, in education and academia, you, you, you have a thesis, you, you, you debate your point, and you have supporting evidence. Um, but less of the emphasis in school is delivering that message in a way the other side can well receive it. And so I would imagine in the case of highly educated women that they're probably less good in delivering that message. And they may be correct in what they're, what they're saying. Uh, but they may they may not have uh, the delivery method uh, done properly. Uh, and you'd be surprised. A lot of educated women are still susceptible to the same psycho human psychological biases that all of us are susceptible to. Meaning, like you're you're more likely to jump to conclusions uh, about certain things. Uh, you're you're more likely to, for example, if somebody's good looking, you'll attribute positive qualities to that person. If that person is successful. Um, and, and is worth a lot of money, you'll automatically attribute positive attributes to that person. We see that in the case of crypto. Sam, Sam Bank, Bankman Friedman, uh, the, 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 the crypto guy who, who's kind of brought down the whole crypto industry, he was seen as this hero. And, you know, and all, everybody thought he was such a great guy, nice guy, all these positive attributes. But hey, a, a lot of them were educated people who trusted this, this guy. Uh, and his parents went to Stanford, my, my school as well, my alma mater is Stanford. Uh, and there's a lot of positive qualities, but nobody questioned. And so a lot of these educated women are, are susceptible to the same 
human psychological biases that all of us have. And that's why I believe it's more important that people are aware of these, these natural biases than it is to be educated because that will help you navigate the real world in a, in a way better than, than three degrees. She may have a lot of, I guess, like requests or wants and needs or demands, but I think for her, she doesn't feel like that that's too many demands for a guy to handle. So I think it's also hinting that she wants someone that is of equal, if not higher position. Okay, so you're basically saying that in a way, keeping her in check is finding somebody that finding an alpha male, which so someone that she's of worthy women. of of respect and and exactly. And so both of them are not wrong in any way. It's just different perspective. Uh, a man sees when a woman.